Hello everyone, today I am going to show you guys how to screen shake or camera shake for your game, similar to this one. This solution will work for both Unity 2D and 3D, so let's get to it. This is our starting scene, as you can notice like I am using the default camera, but in your case you may be using cinemation camera, so the technique I am providing you will not work for cinemation shake, okay, for that you have to use another technique. So if you're looking for cinemation shake, you should watch this video I made four months ago on how to sh use camera shake on cinemation. Also for demo purposes, I am using my mobile joystick 2D. Okay. What I want to do is mainly whenever our player is destroyed to create a big shake to make it more juicier. For camera shake, I'm going to use Dotwin library. If you don't know what Dotwin is, it's just a tuning library and it's free. So I'm going to add this assets link on video description. First, you're going to add it to my asset, then go back to your Unity Editor, Window, Package Manager. Make sure you have packages to like my assets, then search for Dotwin, import. After importing, a panel should pop up, open and set up, wait for it to compile scripts. Then apply. Now I'm going to create a script called camera manager. Then going to add it camera manager to camera holder. Open camera manager. Remove default methods. We're going to take reference for our main camera. So public camera main camera then we're going to create a method public void shake camera then whenever our shake camera gets called it will call main camera to shake position we can use uh, do shake rotation also but i'm not using shake rotation just only shake position works perfectly for me okay so it takes three main variables first one is shake duration shake strength and shake by duration so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it from somewhere so this method should take these three variables so first shake shake duration vector tree shake strength and int shake vibration now I'm going to get another variable twin type twin add the twin to shake and now I'm going to go back to my mute editor add the reference for camera and you can see the our shift manager is controlling our player right so let's open it And we, uh, whenever our player gets destroyed, you're going to call the shake camera. So let's get another method public void shake camera. Then we are going to call camera manager shake camera from this method. Let's say for quick access, I'm going to public static camera manager instance and like instance equal to this now camera manager instance dot shake camera it takes the variable 
for that I'm going to declare three variables one is public float shake duration one for vector tree shake so and another one is integer type now you get a pass shake duration strength and shake vibration now we are going to call our shake camera whenever our pair gets destroyed is here this one so the shake camera Let's go back to the teacher. Ship shake duration like say one second, shake strength five and five, and vibration like say twenty five. Okay, so let's see. Okay. Nice, easy. The so shake working perfectly now. Let me give you one tips. Let's get another method. Not actually, we are using the update method. So if if input dot get key down the space, we are going to call this method for debug purposes. Uh, let me show you why. Look at this position. Okay, it's zero zero so if i press now it should check, check camera right now if i stop our position is not zero zero for fixing that we're going to go to camera manager and before we are starting our twin we are gonna call shake that complete now if i shake use this one you see value always goes to zero okay so make so make sure you are using shake twin dot complete now i want to do one more thing whenever our player collide with these purple planets i want to give a small shake okay for that create another script call purple Planet Manager and we're going to add this to our group Planet Managers okay. now let's go to our ship manager and copy this three lines of code here then Copy shake camera here. Put the references. Environment, these purple ones. I'm going to give duration like let's say that because you want a small so let's say point three and point one. One also by vision like 15. Now we have to call it from somewhere. For that, I'm using checking here. Purple, you can see. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take reference for that purple planet manager. So other dot game object dot gate component purple plant manager dot shake camera okay so let's see looking okay. yep it's giving us a small shake if our player hits the red one yep you see it's juicy right this is it for today guys if you have any question or need further assistance please feel free to leave a comment below also remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel Thank you guys for watching.